Good morning, welcome back to the travel vlogs. My name is Rosie. I'm currently in Malacca, Malaysia. I got sunburnt yesterday, so my face is red. Also, like here, is feeling a little bit sore today. But anyway, I just wanted to come on and say hello and start the vlog. We are about to go out for lunch and then I think we're going to explore a little bit of Malacca, somewhere we haven't been yet. Okay, so we are out the house. I did put sun cream on today, so hopefully I won't burn like I did yesterday. But we've decided we're gonna to go to the baboon house, which is a burger joint. And I don't think it's the like Ramly burgers. I think it's more like gourmet burgers. And it's a bit more expensive. It's gonna cost maybe like four or five euros per burger, which is quite, it's like double the price of what we usually pay for meals. But we thought we'd try it. Um, and then I think we're gonna walk around a different part of town that we've not been to yet. Okay, so we are walking to baboon house, but I thought I would just show you this building because it's, I was just saying to Jeremy, it's quite Chinesey here, and he was like, yeah, this is Chinatown, this is where a lot of Chinese people move to. But I think the decoration is so cute, especially with the little bike outside, but like the lanterns and the Chinese lettering and things, even like actually in the building. Oops, there we go. Anyway, so we're walking down here, and the baboon house it should be somewhere on the left. But again, there's more Chinese influences there with the clothing and things. It's so pretty. Okay, so we've made it to the baboon house. This is the outside. And there's the little sign. Let's go in and have some food. Okay, this place is so cool. I've just come all the way to the back. I've just kind of walked all the way through and there's loads of gardens at the back. So I'm gonna show you that. And I'm also gonna walk through the restaurant and show you because it's such a cool spot. It's like really hidden and I wouldn't have come here otherwise. But this is the gardens. So there's loads of greenery out back here. Really, really cute. And then here is where the kitchen is. And there's like a, you know, like a big wood fire stove thing. And that's part of the kitchen. There's even a little grandma there who's chopping up onions or garlic or something. <laughs> so there's the kitchen down there. And we've come here for burgers basically. And it's a really, really cool spot. So I'm just gonna walk all the way through to show you and then I'll obviously go back to where Jeremy is and sit with him. So this is where we're sitting. This Jeremy's looking at the menu now, it's like a QR code. But it is so cool, it's so tropical. It's like loads of plants and things. Really cool decoration, I'll be back in a minute. Really cool decoration. And then through here. I'm actually gonna put you on my angle. So there's like a bar over there. And then there's this seating area, which is super cool. And then through here is where we first arrived. Oh, sorry. This is where we first arrived. And then that's the entrance. So it's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna walk back through on not wide angle, because I feel like the quality is sometimes really bad. You might just get a better idea, but yeah, this place is so cute. Okay, so back through here. Back through here. And then we're sitting here. So Jeremy got spicy lamb burger with sweet potato fries and it comes with watermelon which is super interesting. And then I went for lemongrass chicken which has guacamole inside and cheese and sweet potato fries. And also we got kombucha, uh, we both got this one which is lime and mint I think it was and it's delicious, it's so so good. Okay so lunch was absolutely delicious, really really enjoyed it, would highly recommend it. It kind of does not stand out and you could easily walk past it and not realise it's like an incredible restaurant, which also makes you think that all the other houses down here must go back that far and must be really huge as well. So I really, really enjoyed the walking around there and like getting little video clips and things. So I would highly recommend going to the Baboon House. We are now gonna make our way through town and explore a little bit more. Um, you can see it's really discreet. You would never kind of think it's this amazing place and like how big it is as well. So super cool. Anyway, we're gonna carry on exploring. Okay, top tip, if you are ever in Malacca and you need some water, next to Gravy Baby, oh, Jeremy just finished, but there is a water refill thing with filtered water for free. So if you ever need water, that's the place to go. 
but today we're going to turn right and I'm going to be able to show you the red buildings, which is good. So I think I might have shown you these red buildings the first day we arrived, but it was at night time and it was quite dark. So I'll be able to show you properly now because we're going over this way. So we're just crossing over the bridge and I wanted to show you this view because it's so, so cute. Okay, let's go and explore some more. There's a cute little windmill here. How nice is that? And also that red church, which is probably something you see on Google. If you Google Malacca, it's usually that red church that comes up. Look what Jeremy's just spotted. He's a big boy. So this is the red church, Christ Church Malacca, built in 1753. So beautiful. So we're gonna go inside, but basically it was built in 1753 by the Dutch to commemorate the centenary of the occupation of Malacca and then it took 12 years to build and then in 19, in 17, sorry, in 1795 the Brits took over the church and added a couple of things basically. But let's go inside, hopefully it's free. What about that one? Was it much in prison? Thank you. Okay, so this is the inside. I was expecting more like stained glass and like, you know, like tall ceilings. Well, it's tall, but I mean, you know, when it's all like archways and things, but it's quite cute. Just a little bit basic. Am I allowed to say that? I don't know. I've been to a lot of churches in my time, so this is not one of my favorites. I probably won't remember it again, to be honest. But that's the inside. Okay, so we're finishing the church. It was fine. Not my favorite church. Why does my head look so bright? I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, um, not the favourite, not my most favourite church I've ever been in, but it was absolutely fine. Oh, let me show you these. So the thing here is there's these tuk-tuks and they're all decorated so, so extravagantly. So you can see like Hello Kitty, Spider-Man, things like that. But they have like <laughs> toys and like, it's crazy. They're so cool. <laughs> so we're currently walking up this hill apparently this is like an old fireman's truck and apparently there's a view up here there's a church but apparently there's a really good view as well which is free whereas there's a tower that you have to pay for so i'll obviously show you the views when we get to the top and i'm excited okay so we've made it to the church at the top i'm a bit out of breath because i'm still ill even though i've been ill for about two weeks now there's this guy who's missing a hand and then these are the panoramic views so um, if you watched yesterday's vlog i'm sorry it's windy but if you watched yesterday's vlog we walked over that bridge there we went to a mosque which was way back over there and this is where the shopping center is where we got some fruit and this tower has like um i don't know like a, a, a spinning platform yeah that goes up and back down again so you can pay to do that or you can come up here so i don't know i think you get different views though from up there Oh, and then there's also another, then there's another big iguana thing has gone now. Okay, so here's some information about St. Paul's Hill. Um, if you want to pause the video, you can do and read about that and find out a bit more information. Okay, so this is the church and it's open at the minute. So, I mean, there's no doors, it's always open. <laughs> Let's have a look. So there's these big gravestones propped up against the walls on either side. That's a cool view. Okay, I just remembered I'm meant to be vlogging. So here's some more of the kind of gravestone things in this room. And then there's more back there as well. And actually what I really liked is the kind of mold on the ceiling. It's so cool, so I photographed that a couple of times as well. Right, we are currently on our way down here. Yeah? So in front of us is where the shops are, you can see Toys R Us and things. But we're going down here. Okay, we've come down to here, there's a couple of cannons and then there's this old building. No idea what it is. I am so sorry, I'm the worst tour guide ever. But it's cute, I like it. Okay, luckily there's a sign. So it's the only remaining part of the ancient fortress of Malacca, built by Alfonso de Albuquerque and by him named Famosa. 1511, near this stood the Bastion of Santiago. So if that means anything to you, 
that's exactly what that is and that's the kind of top of the fortress and then there's a big gate and anyway, if we're going to carry around this I've lost Jeremy already so there's some cannons and then there's someone in a black suit and I just said to myself oh don't like that much like if he chased me I'd actually shit myself so that's not put that out into the universe okay then this is the front so there's two cannons and the building and then that man there as well okay guys we're going to Toys R Us just to try and enjoy some AC and I also think it's quite fun to see what toys are available in different countries first stop is sportsdirect.com we're gonna have a look at some sports things it's always funny walking around shops because we literally have zero space in our bags if anything I have too much stuff so it's funny because we walk around and then see things that we might want to buy that we obviously can't um, but it's nice to see anyway without the pressure of like oh my god I want to buy that so the goggles that I have um, have broken so they keep getting water in one of the eyes so I'm going to get these I've just been trying them on in the mirror these ones in a bigger pair but I'm going to get these which I think is about 25 euros that's what Jeremy said something like that so these are um, wide vision and also anti-fog which should be good so I'm just looking at the gym sets not that I need any but they have some really cute like um, co-ord pieces right I need to vlog because I might be getting myself a cat so I, like you saw yesterday, I burnt my face and I often forget to wear sun cream and I think something like this could be good for like hikes or like um, day trips and things, probably not obviously like dinners out or like anything where I'm trying to look nice but I could always just like pop it off, take a picture and put it back on again but at least it will protect my face so I'm trying on different ones, there's this one like I'm really not a hat girl either so this is like out of my comfort zone but I think it's the best one out of the rest of them as in the bucket hat but there's all these that we're looking at um the other thing i tried on was a bucket hat so the thing i like about this is that my hair can stay up and out of the way whereas with a bucket hat just bear with me a second um i don't mind it on me actually i think it's not bad um i would want to get a beige or something i'm more of a light colored person but it like pushes my hair on my neck which is what i try like i was trying to keep my hair off my neck because my neck gets super sweaty so I don't think a bucket hat is the one, so maybe it is the cap. Jeremy's found one that he likes, put it on the other way again. Put it on the front way and show me. Yeah, that's cool. See, Jeremy's such a hat person, they just suit him. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. Okay, so I got the hat and some goggles. So I'm looking forward to going swimming and not having water in my eyes and also hopefully not burning my head anymore. Okay, so this is the new Rosie, probably gonna be seen in vlogs and things, wearing a cap. So let's try and get used to it. <laughs> but we've now come to Toys R Us and I thought I would show you a little bit as well. So it is quite a small store. It's not huge, but let's go and see what fun things we can find. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Little teddy bears, little doggies. The Barbies are so funky these days. Like that one, she's cool. Like that one with multicolored hair. Like a shaved head. None of my Barbies had shaved heads when I was a kid. So cool. There's like um, a chef, singers, things like that. Lego is always fun to look at. They've got dried flower centerpiece. <laughs> Imagine having that on your table. A bonsai tree, I think the bonsai tree is quite cool. Um, there's a flower bouquet. And then like cars and the usual stuff. That was cute though, the rabbit. An octopus and a submarine. That's a little bit um, touchy subject right now because last week was when the Titanic one disappeared. Okay, we're now looking at Monopoly and they've got um, this one which I thought was really cool. It's like a Happy New Year one. But all of the places are um, like things you'd find in the China district, like a toy shop, a candy shop, fortune sticks, things like that. So that's super cool. Um, and then another one they've got is this one, which is the world. And they've got, if I can turn it around. Um, some of them are Stonehenge, Angkor Wat, the Great Barrier Reef, St. Lucia. That looks so fun. They've also got different versions of Uno, so they've got Jurassic World, they've got Monopoly, which is a bit like Uno, um, Star Wars, Uno Flip, not sure what that one is, and like 
Monopoly um, games and Clue, which I guess is a bit like Cluedo. So it's cool. I know that's enough of the shops, I think. Okay, we are back home. Your girl is now a cat wearer. So <laughs> we need to get used to this. Anyway, we're back home now. We're going to hang out and work for a couple of hours and then go out for dinner later on. So I'm probably going to close the vlog off here and say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you Show subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jeremy's getting naked in the background. <laughs> um, if you enjoyed it, please do subscribe and I hope to see you back here very soon. We're about to go for a shower because it is boiling here. Um, anyway, you don't need to know that. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.